For summer alpine climbing, your needs are going to be very, very different from somebody who's Scottish winter climbing. The climate is much drier, brighter and warmer, and you're not going to be out whilst it's raining because that's terrible conditions and a really bad idea. As a result, it's likely that you're going to want something lighter, more breathable. And something like the Kinetic Alpine that I've got in here is a really good example of that. It's also incredibly breathable, so it means you can wear it whilst on the go, but the fact it provides you with a bit of waterproofing means that if it does rain or if it does snow, it's got the ability to shrug it off. So jackets such as this are lighter weight, which is a benefit because whilst they're on, they feel light, whilst they're in your pack, they don't weigh as much. Although perhaps the greatest benefit is that breathability which we mentioned, because that essentially enables you to wear them all day, that saves you time and makes you more efficient. So the other option for when you're climbing in the Alps is something like this. And this is a vaporize, which is essentially a soft shell layer. Now these provide windproofing with a little bit of insulation, and again, are great whilst you're on the go. Now a benefit of something like this over the jackets that we just featured, the waterproof style of jacket, is that because these don't have a membrane, there's no taped seams and the such like, all your vapor can basically travel outwards, which helps to make them even more breathable. And thus, again, you're less likely to get sweaty. So one of the best things about these lighter weight layers, and I'm talking now about both the Kinetic Alpine and the vaporize that we've got on here, is the fit. And the fit is brilliant because they can use all sorts of neat, lightweight, stretchy fabrics that help you move around and give you excellent freedom of movement. When trying these styles of jackets on, it's worth remembering that you will be wearing a harness. And it's also worth remembering about the rise that you might get whilst lifting your arms up and down. Again, some people have narrow shoulders, some people have broad shoulders, and there's a multitude of differing jackets on the market that will help suit your body shape. So it's worth going into a shop and trying a selection out for size. When it comes to features, these jackets are at their best when they're at their most minimalist. So within the Vaporize, you've simply got two pockets that you can use as hand warmers, and another pocket just here that you can use for snacks, topos, and anything else that you can possibly think of putting in it. This particular jacket has a hood that's designed to be used underneath a helmet, compared to the Kinetic Alpine, which fits over helmet. People have personal preferences to which they like the most, but it's nice to have a blend of the two. In the Alps, you're not going to need the same kit that you use within the Scottish winter environment, because the chances are, if you're out climbing, it's going to be nice, dry and bright. Having something that's lighter, stretchier and more breathable will allow you to keep it on, which will make you move quicker and be more efficient.